Hi and welcome back to Lunchbox World. I am so glad that you've joined us today. Today we are doing the tortilla quiches. Um, so they're little mini quiches that are perfect for popping in a lunchbox using a variety of things you're most likely to have in your fridge anyway. The only extra thing is to get the tortilla wraps. So let's get straight to it. For this recipe we need the wraps, cheese, cherry tomatoes, six eggs, a couple of spring onions, some bacon that we're going to quickly chop up tiny and then cook up and then obviously seasoning and that's it they're all going to go into the muffin tin so you just need a cutter you could probably use this bowl upside down cut these out for we need 12 be quite firm with it let it know who's boss just to get a nice clean edge okay so we're using these wraps instead of pastry so this is something you can easily get in your supermarket shop and most of the ingredients you should have anyway so I'll make sure there's links in the description to other videos we think are really good for just quick and easy lunch ideas and mixing up the ingredients creating different textures just getting them eating all sorts of things so the great thing about these is that they're easily portable it doesn't matter if they're slightly out that's just part of the charm. So just try and make sure that they fit around the edges. Now these are quite shallow, these little bun tins. So just be careful that you don't overfill them. Just make sure they're all pushed down. And then we put this to one side. We're just gonna chop this up into tiny little pieces and then just quickly make it nice and crispy. And you've gotta cook the bacon before you put it all together. Sliced up bacon. You can make it as tight into tiny little strips as you like. So then we're gonna fry this off. We're just gonna quickly get the onion ready and actually we're gonna put this in the same pan along with the bacon so it just reduces a little bit. So we've just used two spring onions. We're just going to pop this in the pan. So with the tomatoes we can get these ready. We're just going to slice these in half because there'll be one of these in each little tortilla quiche just to give it a bit of colour. So those are all prepared. I've got six eggs so it's kind of like half an egg per tortilla. So we're just going to crack all these in to the bowl. Doesn't matter if you split the yolk. They're going to get whisked up anyway. So I just tap it on the side and then just carefully prise it open with my thumbs and just make sure you don't get any shell into the mix. If you do, the best thing is to use part of the eggshell to just get it out. If you try and use a finger, you're just gonna be swimming around. You'll never catch it. And there you have it. Okay, so we're just going to use the fork, a little bit of salt, not too much because there's gonna be salt from the bacon, pepper, a little bit of mixed herbs, going in a little bit more there we go and then this is ready okay so put this to one side and then meanwhile we're just going to grate up some cheese because this is going to get sprinkled on the top so i've already started i love this because it's just a handy container it captures everything let's just grate this all up and use whatever cheese you've got this is just cheddar so i'm going to probably do enough for a sprinkling on the top of each of the 12 so we've now got the cheese ready, the egg mix, tomatoes that are going to go on the top and we are really nearly ready to assemble it all together. So first off we're going to go with the, the bacon and the spring onion mix. So here you can see. I'm just going to get, try and get these a little bit crispier, so just maybe another minute. So we're just going to line the tray. I don't worry too much. Okay, so we're just going to put these bits, chop them up or tear them. These are just going to be like little crispy, tasty bites. These are going to go in the oven at the same time. We'll see how they come out. But these are just the off cuts. You know, they're the weird shapes. And what I'm going to do is give them a little bit of seasoning on top. Okay, so I've got some paprika here. So we're just going to do a little bit of dusting of that on the top. Salt and pepper. Flavouring. Give them a little squirt. And then pop them in the oven for them to crisp up. Back to our tortillas. Here we've got the, the bacon all crispy, so we're just going to put a little bit in each of the cases. It's like a sort of teaspoon of each. 
gosh, the smell of this is delicious. Try and make them equal. My kids always notice if they're not equal, but you know, you can only do what you can do. So you don't want to have anything on the edges because otherwise it just sticks in the oven and then it's a nightmare to get off. It's a lot easier if you take it away now. There we go. Just kind of make sure they're fairly even. There we go. Okay, so now we are going to put a tomato in each. Okay, and then the egg mix. So just be careful, don't, oh my God, don't overfill it. Because the trouble is, if you overfill it, you can't take it out. So I'm just gonna mop that up. <laughs> How not to do it. Okay, so we've got our cheese. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on the top of each. You can see these are pretty fully loaded. So we might have a messy oven on our hands. Okay, so we're just sprinkling on the cheese now. And there we go. These are, this is gonna explode. So I'm just trying to spoon some out it in another one. I still think it's gonna explode. Okay so you get the idea. Oh my god. Okay so these are gonna go in the oven just long enough for the egg to cook and we'll just keep checking on them. So here are the crispy morsels, the off cuts, that I'm just gonna let cool down and then we can have a dip with them so everything gets used, nothing gets wasted. And then you have just a quick and easy uh, little dip. This is just Philadelphia, it could be hummus, any dip of your choice, salsa. And then these are the little toasted up, oven baked, off cuts from the tortilla. Straight out of the oven. What do you think of these? Really quick and easy. Okay, so these are too hot to handle right now, but we're gonna tease them out. Little tasty bites. Some of them just don't wanna come out. And this is the one that totally overflowed. There we go. And there you have your 12 little mini tortilla quiches. Delicious. And you can serve it with a salad or just pop them in a lunchbox. Perfect. See, quick and easy. That really didn't take long. So that was the mini tortilla quiches. We really hope you like the recipe. It would be great if you gave us the thumbs up, if you can comment below. I really think you'll like some of the other ideas that we've covered, um, like the no bread. So I'll put a link up, the little I. So I'll suggest some other ones that Maybe you might find really interesting if you are kind of getting into packing lunches and looking for more inspiration. Um, but basically this channel is all about putting the fun back into packed lunches. So it would be great if you subscribed, great if you gave us the thumbs up because it's always good to get feedback. And until next time, let's keep having fun packing those lunches. See you next time.